Hi guys, long time. I'm back today uh, just to share with you some of the things that I've been up to. I have um, developed an obsession with a couple things and the Le Creuset uh, cookware has been one of those things. I've been collecting this brand for, I'd say about three years. Um, I haven't used any of it, but I am collecting nonetheless. And I figured I would show some of the items to you before it got to be too late. I was hoping to be in my new home by now, but there are delays and I don't know when exactly that's going to be. So I figured, let me show these things to you before they have some huge price increase. And also when I look online, I do not see a lot of videos on this particular colorway. So here are the specs. Again, this right here is going to be for the five quart uh, Le Creuset Dutch oven. I do collect the color oyster. Uh, I have seen it online where it's written as oyster. I've seen it written as flint. I believe that if you were to see either of the two, be safe to assume that they would be the same. Okay. The packaging um, is always phenomenal. This particular um, item, as well as a couple others, um, were not purchased directly from the the uh, Le Creuset site. I do have quite a few pieces that I have purchased from them directly. This was purchased from Crate and Barrel. Um, and again, I think we'll just do a quick review on it. So you can see the packaging is pretty good. I haven't had any issues with any of the things that uh, Crate and Barrel has delivered to me. And I do purchase quite a few things from them. So pulling the lid out, um, you can see right off the back, the colorway is uh, hues of gray. So this is going to be hues of uh, gray that's in the dark gray and light gray family. Depending upon the light, you may get some, you may pick up some purplish color. I see a lot of that online. I haven't seen that. I've kind of walked it through the different parts of um, my living area in different settings of light and it always seems to be pretty consistent to me. Um, so the, the carpet that for this particular room that I'm filming in is like an oatmeal color. And as you can see, it, it even goes well with that. This particular colorway is gonna come with that standard Le Creuset um, stainless steel knob. They do have some models that uh, they're selling with a uh, gold, knob, not gold um, knob or handle, depending on whatever you call it, right? Um, so that's gonna be the lid. We'll just, lean that up against the wall okay beautiful color okay and here is the base here's the base guys okay just gonna close this lid down a little so we can stick this on top i'll get there <laughs> Again, this is the five quart size. Um, just give you a quick. Give a quick spin so you can see the lighting in here is pretty bright. This is going to be the true color, guys. OK, um, right out the box, you'll notice it comes with a sticker. I see a lot of folks online when they are reviewing this cookware and they tend to keep the sticker on. That is not meant to be left on. This is a part of their traditional packaging um, and it, it should be removed, okay? Also, inside the pot, they provide you with a little care book and a little gives some details of some other styles of cookware that they also make and the different things that it can be um, used for in terms of what it what, what you can cook inside, um, gives you some some instruction as to the upkeep um, and all of the little basic things. Also, you'll notice that there are these little white plastic clips, right? These little things here is what I'm referring to. Um, you might not want to throw those away, okay? I think it'd be a good idea to keep those for storage purposes. Um, if you're anything like me, you'll be storing this particular um, pot like any other pot and you'll probably have the the lid placed on top and it kind of keeps it um, it stabilizes it a little and also keeps it from being um, damaged okay okay 
it's a beautiful pot. Again, I haven't cooked with it, but I do have other um, La Crusay items. Uh, not in the... Um, Not in the cast iron, but the stoneware. And when I say those pieces cook beautifully, they're not for the top of the stove. Obviously, it's for the oven, um, where this can be goes from can go from stove top to oven. My other pieces are solely um, for oven use, and I believe they can be placed in ovens just like this, up to temperatures of 500, um, and they cook beautifully. Not only that, the cleanup is span spectacular. You don't have to do a lot of scrubbing. You let it sit for a little while and wipe it right out and it's like new, okay? So I knew eventually I wanted to invest um, in this particular brand because the experience had just been so good, okay? And so again, you can cook in oven tips up to 500 with this and this is gonna be the cast iron. Um, I think I mentioned that depending on the lighting, I've been told that you could possibly pick up hues of um, purple. Maybe that is a, what they consider to be the purplish color right there, if you can see. Again, the lighting in here is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I believe that this color is probably going to be, this colorway is going to be um, probably viewed as more of the, uh, more of a traditional color for them. Okay, so if you're looking for a traditional color that's more conservative, definitely more classic, sophisticated, um, I think that this would be this would definitely be a safe option for you. Okay, it's not going to be the any of the yellow or or the blue or the 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 reddish colors that they have, the different variations of uh, orange, just all of the the colorways that they have. Right, this is going to be. Definitely more um, suitable for if you have a traditional, classic type of style going on in your kitchen, okay? If you have a black kitchen, a white kitchen, black and white kitchen, gray kitchen, brown kitchen, I think that this would this would fit right in beautifully, okay? Um, at the current time, these are selling for $420. Um, again, that little pamphlet that they give you with the cookware, um, it's going to have some information regarding the upkeep. It's going to have some information regarding the warranty. This is a lifetime warranty. Um, and like most of their cast iron, this was made in France. Okay. So again, this is the five quart, which is considered also as the 4.7 liters. Okay, guys, I think that's all for me on this one. Um, I think that if you're looking to purchase, if you're looking to start um, collecting, or maybe you just, perhaps you just want to have one or two pieces of this particular brand, I think the Dutch oven is going to be a safe set, a, a safe safe option is what I'm trying to say. Um, again, for the five core, I believe that they say that it's it would serve a family of four. I think that if you have a family of two, I've seen the smaller version of this. And the smaller version, the next, the next style down, the next size down will be 4.25 quarts. And to me, that's kind of small. I'm, I'm accustomed to cooking um, large portions. Um, and I think that if you're someone that likes to cook and have leftovers, um, I think that the five quart would do you just fine. Okay. Okay. I hope, again, I hope everyone is well, and I think that this is it for my review, guys. Okay, I'll talk with you soon. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.